we are the magistrates. We hear all the evidence in the case and decide whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. It's for the prosecution to prove their case beyond all reasonable doubt, otherwise we will dismiss it. Traditionally, there are three magistrates. I am the chair and will decide the case with my two colleagues. If my two colleagues can't agree, I will have the deciding vote. Occasionally, we may have to sit as a pair and then decide the case between us. Although we've had some training, we are not legal professionals and we are not paid. Magistrates hear all summary offences within their jurisdiction. We can also hear triable, either way, offences where the defendant has agreed that this can be the case. If we believe that a trial is too serious, we can refer that case up to the Crown Court. Even after we've heard a case, we can refer that case to the Crown Court if we believe that our sentencing powers are not sufficient. I am the legal advisor to the justices, although you may still hear me referred to as the clerk of the court or the magistrate's clerk, and I am legally trained. My job is to ensure that everything runs properly and that all the proper procedures are followed. I will ask a defendant to enter a plea and I will ask witnesses to identify themselves. I will advise the magistrates on legal matters and I will ensure that only admissible evidence is put before the court. If a defendant is unrepresented, I will advise them to ensure they get a fair trial. I am the usher. I ensure that all witnesses have answered their summons. I'll fetch witnesses in when they're called and administer the oath or affirmation. When the witness is giving evidence, I will pass exhibits around the court. I can even fetch a glass of water for someone if they're thirsty. You will hear me say, all rise. I'm the prosecuting solicitor and I present the prosecution case. There are three things that I must prove to the satisfaction of the court. Firstly, that an offence has been committed. Secondly, that the defendant has committed the offence. And lastly, that all the evidence has been gathered in accordance with the correct evidence gathering procedures. If I fail to do any of those things, then the defendant is entitled to an acquittal. I will ask questions of prosecution witnesses to enable them to give evidence. I cannot ask leading questions or suggest answers. Obviously, I can only present evidence that has been gathered fairly. If there is a case to answer, and the defence call witnesses, then I can cross-examine those witnesses. Remember that prosecutors are only as good as the evidence they are given. I am the defence solicitor, and it's my role to protect the interests of my client. I can challenge evidence that has not been gathered fairly in accordance with the Police and Criminal Evidence Act of 1984 and have that evidence excluded if it's so required. If you have been fair, thorough, exercised your powers correctly and can account adequately for all your actions, then there should be little for me to challenge. Remember, it's not for the defence to win the case, but for the prosecution to lose it.